Hello and welcome to part 2 of chapter 4. In this part we're going to take our two blueprints we previously just made and we're going to start adding code to them to make them work. First thing we're going to do is set up the shooter. So go into your shooter code and we'll make sure everything's set up with the mesh and the arrow source. And on the event graph this is where we're going to start things off. Now we only need the begin play so we can delete the other two. And on begin play we're going to set up a timer. So we'll do a timer for starters and then later on we'll go through how to make it so it senses the player's location. So let's do a timer. On the event begin play, I'm going to drag that out and go set timer by event. We're then going to set up a new custom event to fire the arrow. So right click custom event. Custom events allow you to do what you think it does. It is a custom event, something that you can trigger manually yourself whenever you like. So I'm going to call this one shoot arrow. And you'll see on the set time by event we have this little red square. We can connect that up to our shoot arrow event. So it knows that this is the event we're going to call after this time has expired. And if speaking of this time, let's change that to two seconds. And we will make it looping. So it continuously fires arrows. Once we've done that, we're going to go to shoot arrow event. On the shoot arrow event, we're going to create <coughs> on the shoot arrow event, we're going to spawn actor from class. And the class we're going to spawn as is an arrow. And the spawn transform is going to be the location, rotation and scale of this arrow source. So drag the arrow source out. From there get transform. And plug that into the spawn transform. So now when we create an arrow it should spawn in the hole. Let's close that. And let's put that into the world to have a test. So I'm just going to drag this into the world and we'll make sure it's facing the right way and just position it wherever you like just have a look at this and you can see the arrows are now spawning they're just dropping to the floor because they have no direction or speed to them or anything like that so that's what we work on next so let's go into our arrow and let's work on how this is going to move. So first thing we go is into our projectile movement. Click on the projectile movement component. Then go on to the right hand side settings. Now there's loads of settings for your projectile. We're only interested in changing a couple of these. So we're going to change the initial speed and max speed to 800. And we're also going to tick the box underneath it that says rotation follows velocity. And rotation follows velocity basically tells the mesh to rotate based on which way it's uh, flying. Next we're going to change the projectile gravity scale to zero. This way the arrow will fly straight and true through the air. Close this and push play. So here you can see them flying out. However you can see they fly in the wrong way. To get them flying out the correct way we need to tweak the arrow source component. So go into your shooter, go to your viewport, click on arrow source and we're going to rotate that so it is facing in the other direction, in the X. Hit play and there you see the arrows are flying out. Now they don't do anything, they just fly straight through or straight through walls, they hit us but don't actually do nothing, they just knock us out of the way and keep on going forever and ever. So on the next part, we're going to work on them hitting a wall and being stopped by the wall and uh, disappearing. And also when we hit the player, knocking back the player. Thank you very much for watching this episode. If you like what I do and you want to see more content before anyone else, please consider supporting me for at least a dollar over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley. For just a dollar, you can get access to all these videos early before anyone else, sometimes well ahead of anyone else. 
and I'll take this moment to say a big thank you for all my supporters so far in supporting me in making this channel content. Wouldn't be doing this without you guys, so a big thank you to all of you. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.